Alright guys, we are down at the uh, Hickory Motor Speedway over here with Trevor.
the name is Pepsi, then I'm leaving. Wait, you can't me over there. guys thank y'all so much for watching that i really appreciate it hope y'all enjoyed it that was a crazy crazy show um before i end this video just wanted to give you all an update on the massive audio hippo xl if you saw in my last video of course we put this thing in when we did the big 2000 watt upgrade but um things didn't go quite as i'd hoped let's take a closer look at it so i put this thing in there did not make a review of it because i was just way too busy with work and school and life was just really, really crazy. So I had it in there. I figured, you know what, I'll break it in. You know, really make sure it's a good sub and it gets the job done. Well, I had it in there under two weeks. I was in there one day driving home. Didn't even have it playing for 10 minutes. She uh, kind of went up in smoke, you might say. Let's see if we can get a look in there. Yep, that is toast. Anyway, I hadn't really made a video on it. It was kind of hard to, to know if it was my fault or if, you know, it was a faulty coil on the sub. I did call Massive Audio, and we talked, and they wrote down a bunch of dimensions on my box and whatnot, and they said they would work something out where they'd get me a new recon kit. And then, but they were right in the middle of moving uh, facilities or something, and they said they'd call me back the next day, or the day after the next day when they got all moved in, and they just never called me back. So, I, and I've been ridiculously busy so I have not been able to call them back which I really need to do but again life has just been absolutely crazy but um yeah I will say though this was a very stinky sub I could not play this thing at all pretty much for any amount of time you know over a couple minutes without it just stinking and I read online and everybody said that was just kind of how these things were you know they just stunk so I didn't really worry about it too much after I you know I played it again for a little while made sure it broke in fine and then, I mean, I was getting on it some, but I wasn't going too crazy on it. And I was sitting there, and it was stinking just like it normally did, and all of a sudden, it just quit working. But I did get the Dark Audio DKI. Uh, that'll be the next video, a review of that. And I've had that thing in there for several weeks now, playing it about as hard as I was playing this this one. Of course, this is a 2,000-watt sub. That's a 1,000-watt sub. I've been playing it almost as hard, if not as hard, and I have never, ever smelled it once. It has been one of the best subs I've had. It's right up there with the uh, American Base XFL for sure. But even the XFL, I would smell sometimes. I literally have never smelled this sub. So, yeah, really disappointed. That was 300 bucks straight down the, the drain in under two weeks. Didn't even get to make a review of it, which is a big bummer. You know, I do make reviews of these things and make a little bit of money off that, which helps me invest into more stuff. So, I need to get back in touch with Massive Audio, see if they will send me another, you know, a recon kit like we talked about. I don't know, work something out to where I can at least use this again or that could be a cool video to recone one of these things. So yeah. Anyway guys, that is a huge disappointment. Again, could have been my fault though, so not gonna ding massive audio, but yeah. Really, really bumped on that. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um and again, stay tuned, next video, Dark Audio DKI.